<clears throat> so we're going to start here. Um, I'm not going to zoom in anymore right now. I think this is good enough. Um, so the, the, this is kind of a sample of what we're going to be making. Uh, this is pretty simple little driver. Um, what it's got, what it is, is just a piece of round material with a little bit of knurling on the end. It's about three inches long, and this is a screw with a three sixteenths head right here. And in the end of this thing, it, it's just a cap screw, and you can almost see the joint right here where I've screwed this in here with some Loctite. And this this uh, this screw hex head fits in here, and I will say that this is too tight. The hex head is just too tight in, into the cap head uh, screw. So uh, I don't know what I can do about that at this point. But I need to make another size, which I'm going to use a set screw instead. So this is just a quarter. This is a quarter inch set screw I'm going to use and um, it's got a um, 1 8 inch hex uh, drive hole right here. So that's that is it rather than the cap screw I'm going to use this and it'll it's only a quarter of an inch so it's going to it's going to be able to thread into a piece of 3 8 dowel okay so that's what I'm going to do. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is move over to the bandsaw, and I'm going to chop off a piece. And I, it's just this is like I say, there's no plan. It's just got to be about. I'm thinking about this long, about the boy. This is really too tight too. It's got to be about three inches long. And I, what I want to do is I want the the uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll put a taper on this. Um, so it tapers into this this quarter inch screw. Anyway, with that, um, let's get let's get going. I'm going to move over to the bandsaw and just uh, and uh, cut off a piece of, of round stock. So. just a piece of round stock just roughly cut off um, approximately three inches a little bit more maybe so we're going to move over to the lathe right now and we're going to get this prepared to um, put a put a quarter 20 thread in the end for the set screw and a few other little operations along the way I guess Okay, I've stuck this little piece of bar. Uh, I hit it with the uh, belt sander a little bit to deburr it. Um, I put it in the lathe. I just put I put this big chuck on here because uh, I, and I need to just face the end off. So I'm going to take a couple few thousandths off the end. So there we go. Now what I'm going to do, I'm, let me just, uh, I'm going to flip it around here and uh, do the same thing to the other end of it. I'm sorry I'm in the way, but uh, I got no better place to put the camera right this minute. Do it. <clears throat> I'm 
going to um, I'm going to put a little dimple in both ends of it. I may need to uh, I may need to hold the end of this thing in the in the uh, lathe later. So I'm going to dimple both ends of this. Get this out of my way here. One problem with the little short bed on the lathe. Uh, that's all right. We'll manage. I think now we're gonna we're gonna put a quarter inch thread in there. So let me. Uh, okay, we drilled a hole in there, about uh, you know four hundred thousandths deep. I think the set screws I've purchased are uh, three eighths of an inch, so we'll have to use a bottom tap in there eventually. Well, that we've got a hole, we got a tap a tap hole in there, so. Um, we can get rid of this drill chuck here and get ready to um, tap a hole in there. Let's see here. This tap, this is the wrong, this is a quarter 28 here. I need to go find a quarter 20. Okay, we run the bottom tap in there. See if the set screw, how the set screw fits. I, I'm, I'm sure I have to face this again. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I guess I, I, I guess I must have bought quarter inch. <laughs> I must have bought quarter inch uh, set screws. Oh well. No biggie to do just cut it off my best guess huh just go there My best guess was about right.
Make sure that's tight in there. Okay. Tight up in there. Yeah, I think we'll put a little, I think we'll put a little point on that. Reset the. Well, there we go. Nothing fancy. We uh, just a uh, little work, a little taper on the lathe, put a little 15 degree bevel on it. That's it. And uh, put a little knurl on the end. Uh, I, there's no place to set the camera up with a mini lathe. I had to, I put, I did the knurl over there because uh, it's a little more robust. So that's it. Uh, let's see if it works. I, I already did try it. Um, the other day I tried the, uh, the set screw. Let's see if I can find a screw here. These are little dinky. Boy, I can't even hardly get a hold of the damn thing. Where is it? Gosh. These, these screws are really, really tiny. Um, but they got an eighth of an inch hex on the end. And this set screw the other day when I tried it worked perfectly. So there it goes. Look at that. Perfect. Nice fit. You know. So well, that works a lot better than the cap head screws. But I didn't have much choice if I want to keep the tool small. Um, the, first, the first set screw that has a 3 16 drive in it is, uh, is a 3 8 set screw. So that's as big as this this tool is. So I'd have to go to a half an inch. It's kind of big, you know. I, I really didn't want to go that big. I'll figure out some way to get the these fit, but they don't fit good. They fit, but they they you know they're a little bit snug for me. So that's it. Anyway, I've got a couple tools here now that'll work. Um, so this neural looks a lot better here nice diamond knurl so I, it did a nice job I did it by I, I instead of instead of using the power feed I just did it by hand and that works a lot better I just ran the knurling tool in as deep as I wanted it and then I just I just knurled it by hand so that worked a lot better this one um, didn't work so good it didn't it didn't track but it's a nice knurl. It works, so that's all I care about, actually. So, anyway, with that, I'll call off. Thanks for watching. All right. Oh, one more thing. This uh, this was an experiment. Um, see if I can zoom in on that. Um, I'll explain what I did there. So we're trying to figure out what to how to deal with the CNC difficulties and uh, on this project. And we have a bunch of um, let me let me zoom in and I and I'll just I'll just uh, talk about this. This is just a piece of scrap aluminum. You can see the little divot in the top of it there. That's just a it just because it was a scrap it was there. Um, but this is an inset that I have to make on. There's a bunch of insets on the uh, frames for this uh, Vicky project, and I need to I need to machine them with CNC, and um, so let me turn that over because uh, on the other side, let's see if I can show that on the other side that's a that's a forty percent step over with a ball end mill, 
okay and the end mill size is the size that I need for the um, for the radius around the edges um, of this of this uh, alcove or inset so um, I mean that's really that's really rough you can feel it 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 would not look good so what I did was on the other side let me flip it over again on this side what I did when I machined it is I went down um, <clears throat> most of the way uh, using the 40 percent step over that way I can get through the project a little bit faster and then the last on the last cut I changed it to 1% and that only took a few minutes longer and it's very fine those those little um, <clears throat> those little marks in there so to speak are only one thousandths of an inch deep so um, these insets will be painted probably the paint will fill up that but some of the ones I've seen that people have done uh, they don't look too good <laughs> they look pretty rough so I was trying to get really a fine finish at the at the bottom or the base of the cut so um, I could probably go 5% um, step over if I wanted to but um, that's 10% that's 0.1 and um, I'm, I'm thinking that probably will be good enough and the edges came out beautiful the whole thing came out nice so I'm I'm happy with that so I'm going to use that kind of a setup to do the all the insets on the different frames that that I need to do so with that I'll call off we're still just we're just trying to get set up to do this so um, it takes some experimentation here so I'll call off thanks for watching